Welcome everybody to another edition of Pack a Day. Uh, this time we will go through a pack of Mirrodin Besieged. Just like Scars of Mirrodin, I've never opened this pack. And just I was meaning to look at um, Gather and see what cards are available here. But I completely forgot and I fell asleep and I woke up. And now I have no idea what to expect here. Um, my hope is an angel um, to beef up my commander deck. Um, but yeah, let's uh, crack it and find out. Had problem with the packaging nerd and scars of nerd in, and now I'm having problems here. What is it? Did they tough up, toughen up the packaging for the scars of nerd block? Anyway, so we'll go through the comments here unless I find something interesting this pack may have a foil but I'm not sure I got tricked before oh banishment degree all right anyway signal pest okay yeah that's our first comment all right so our first uncommon is signal pest a one to cast zero one with battle cry whenever this creature attacks each other attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Signal pest cannot be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. Oh, huh, okay. Um, so if you have a ton of these, they can be pretty annoying. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Four of these will have each other creatures will get plus three plus one, I guess, right? So each one will be a three one that can't be blocked except with creatures with flying or reach. Hmm. All right, I can see how this got annoying during the Scars of Meriden block. All right, next up, the Dalkin Anatomist. A three to cast, one, two creature uh, with two and a blue and tap, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. You may tap or untap that creature. All right, you know, our uncommons so far are pretty, are pretty neat. I can see this being quite powerful. Especially in limited. All right. I wish I played during that time. All right. Next is Septic Rats. A three mana, two, two with Infect. This creature deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters and to players in the form of poison counters. Whenever Septic Rats, Receptic Rats attacks, if defending player is poisoned, it gets plus one, plus one, minus end of turn. Not bad. No evasion, though. So you can't you're not guaranteed to hit more than once. Actually, you're not even guaranteed to hit once. Assuming the other side, you know, has fast creatures. That's pretty neat. Alright, and our rare will be a decimator web. Four to cast artifact and four and a and tap. Target opponent loses two life. Gets a poison counter, then puts the top six cards of his or her library into her graveyard. Holy crap, what the hell? Was this good? I don't know, for me, I think the effect's amazing, but holy crap. So two life, a poison counter, basically 10% of you, ten percent of your life. So 10 of these is basically you win the game. Odds are you can't do that, but still, come on. It gets poison kind of puts top six cards of his or her library into her graveyard decimator web. All right, I'm gonna have to look this up and see how good it was during during uh scars of Meriden block. Uh, this is I think this is pretty cool. I'm I'm happy with this. Did we have foil? What the heck? Rules tip proliferate. Oh, okay. Um, proliferate is the mechanic where. You give extra counters. Okay, so they added a card just for the rules. All right, cool. And I thought I had a foil here. Hey, place the network. Not bad. Let's see, we have two lands. Is that four land? Yes. A foil forest. I don't have a green deck right now, but foil is foil. And yeah, can't complain. So, we got a very interesting rare and a foil forest. 
not bad for my first uh, Meriden Besiege deck, uh, pack. Sorry. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later.